had a negative win probability because they had two racks down, but they had a third. Bloodseeker. Okay, they're putting like in mid versus DP and safe lane. She really hurt them because the Underlord gets completely zoned away. First night time. Two minutes have been successful so far for mine. He's heading towards bottom. Very hard, really, to, to make need, the like, kill occur. Another hero down here. Yeah, they're gonna rotate one more, but SVG steps up very far anyway, even without the witch drop there. He does go down, but now you are. 500 movement speed. They've got the walls coming in as well. Still very, very speedy. It's a little awkward here for VGJ. Spring around the Rosie. They're gonna have to back away, but top lane, able to get the roar combo. It's nice, just go. Even if they like gank him, run right back top, keep this pressure applied. You are. Walking in kind of deep here. He's on his up. And he is looking pretty dead. It's only level one Maledict, but. Yeah, he looks bad. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Except his death. That's a another kill for our forever still. Net worth is certainly showing. J Storm, hold the advantage at 3k lead and That's the first night time. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's over. Really yeah, not successful at all. Got exorcism available. Ghost lady. And they do anything to put off this push. Gonna pop the ghost. The shackle shot. It's just gonna hold him back. SVG will fall. As my pro and CNC chase him down through the trees. He and does die, but I mean that's an exorcism. Kill the five. Okay, he's gonna farm some agents with it. So he'll get some value out of it. Spark Ruptured. Yeah. But now you are. Oh slot! Well it will die. And so did you want. One more just trade. Ran my pro is gonna try and rip them out of there and will be able to keep himself safe, fearless. We'll still have to be careful with this Lycan around. Success. Well, we'll run away snaking during all that too. He's just sitting, he's just staying top. This is what I was saying he should do. He's doing exactly that. Just keep the pressure going. The catch is very limited, like we were mentioning at the beginning. Snaking though. Walking up a bit far, getting slowed down. Has the defensive roar. Throws it out. Actually gonna be able to turn online with it, so not an entirely defensive roar. Just the kill. His book gets cleaned up. Storm in a very comfortable spot. They're happy. They're chilling. MSS, use of a Maelstrom too. With the rotation though. With the wraparound. G. Got snaking near. He's trying to kite him out here. Dogbrain really wants this kill. Snake also getting silenced up and controlled oh, with the Witch Doctor ulti. The, the Balotings as well. They're there they go. Alpha Red. Nice to Double kill for Dogbrain. He made them think. He was like... Ah, they think that I'm making a solo play here, but they finally make a smoke play with the two roads, the two supports. It's something. It's dead in like three seconds anyway. They don't even need the blood rage. He yeah, fine. Yeah, I think you just put blood rage resin. I think so too. Yeah. Fun yeah. SVG though. I mean, that's he's five hero. He's, he's, he's fine with that. He's just pushing the Oh, but look who uh, they found BGJ still. They found Fearless. Out in the jungle. Yeah, they can turn this into a push. They still, uh, they still got their books active. Oh, uh, it's going to be a pretty pretty fast push as well. They have got fortification. Oh, they used the glyph. So I'm just going to glyph to go high ground here. Without the glyph, they, they the glyph. The books are running out soon, so they can threaten here a little bit, but yeah, Underlord's here. Bye bye. Can't push into that. So they're gonna have the books, the ults up and such before the glyphs back. Yeah, that's the concern. I'm, I'm very surprised they can do with all the push. Bottom lane again. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Getting something, but still. I mean, it's, it's his job. To, it's his job to die. So this it's, game. Yeah, he's just taking the attention away from the other yeah. two lanes, which are consistently being pushed in against Alpha. Oh, 322 gold, huh? It's such Level 13 as well on the Slar. He's getting space. He's getting sp I mean, he's, he's been involved in these pickoffs. Again? SG? 
I mean, this is this is quite a few. Stuff. This is, yeah, this is quite a few. Oh. I mean, he's got he's got it. That's a third time. If they find Dog Brain, though, it'll be all worth it. Oh. Has the mana for the. Clark's getting a decent amount out of all yeah, this now. Getting, like, level, level 40. Cool. Now they're gonna force down bottom at least. Hit that tower. Okay. Yeah, Aegis. Yeah. Cliff gets reset. But Underlord already in position, Dyer's waiting on that high ground. Radiance middle tower. Full Crimson under Guard now finished two for my pro. One zero and four. It's the only no deaths, huh? I mean there's not a lot of kills in this game, only 13 total. Very low. Lion. Night Stalker, very dead. You die by the house of Amri. Waiting for them to go for a high ground. Firestorm. Yeah, they're trying to go for this. Got the Aegis. So they should be able to get him. Oh, oh, fires. They yeah. timed they it. They timed it. They stopped attacking him. Alpha Red. Very smart. All right. Getting something. There we go. The biggest kill in a while, besides Chikiro. Dire structures. Oh, no snaking. Looking for a kill, actually, with the raw. Cast bounces. Oh, Clark is here, too. They start throwing some rips as well. Thinking. Oh, Brain's going for it. Trying to keep you out. We'll be able to. SVG, though. I don't think we'll be so lucky. Okay. Out for red. They're holding on to the base. And they are getting kills out of this. See, each kill worth quite a bit indeed. Oh. It's almost a relic almost complete on your war. I mean, MSS also has been farming a hell of a lot this game on the Wind Ranger. He pretty much has the same net worth as a Death Prophet. Getting close. Dog Brain? Talking MSS though. Worth a good chunk of money. Win run, of course. Try and turn with a shackle, but they've got the Crimson Guard. Alpha Red still oh the damage goodness. of resolution. Cuts through the Night Stalker. Can they get anything more out of this? If they change through, still has the Rupture available, but there's the Death War. Fearless getting chased, but now with the Underlord ulti, Fearless just dies though from oh. MSS. So that's two down on Alpha Red. With Ghost used as well. VGJ Storm with the full five man alive. Ready to push on. Here comes the Underlord. Roar comes out though, onto the Slark. Snaking. Enough. Very low to be okay. But now they're doing the split push. They're doing the two sides, so Underlord can't cover both. Razor's pushing top, the rest of the team pushing mid. TNT dies to the macro fire. And they just can't stop this push. They can't stop both sides. Yeah, look at that. Two pushes going on. Very hard for Alfred now. They will kill off MSS. They have to buy back with a Witch Doctor, maybe seeing if they can get some more out of it. A chase board SPG. Not gonna make it away. They do lose two, but Alpha Red, they lost a full set of racks top. They do manage to hold off the middle rack. But even though they're losing kills, which against them, it feels very much like they can just wait, we're, rinse and repeat, go in again. And They've got the slot in the night stop and trying to look for something down bottom, but MSS might just actually look for Dog Brain here. He's looking for a solo kill. MSS trying to get the slark. Not enough Maelstrom Parks. Oh, well, that's right. Bounce. Bounce. He's not going nice. Oh, if you got like two more Maelstrom procs, that was a dead, dead Slark. Here we go then. Gearing up for another push. BGJ stall. 8 for 13, 16k lead. Ready to go to the high ground. Do have the ghosts available. On Alpha Red. But is it enough to allow them to actually do anything to put a stop to this one? He's got Solar Crest and getting closer to the... Uh, What's it called to get the good item? And on disc, there we go. So he will be able to at least Radiance survive a bit, but they've got the dis they've got the dispels. That's the thing. They've got the books. So book is so good versus death profit. And that's a range rex going down. And bottom as well. You see Brazo, exactly what we were talking about. Four on one lane, one on the other. Just get that split push so Underlord can't address both issues. They just can't stop it. They nope. can't deal with it. This is pressure. Yes, we should. He can be popped. No way to control him. He's even just continuing to hit, hit the 
tower. Now he's going to start running away. His team's moving over though. Tighten him up a little bit. In and out he goes. Got the cheese available. Back up to full. My pro trying to rift out of there and will not make it. The Melcher Procs are there. Alpha Red die. GG is cool and BGJ Storm will be able to finish off the game. Pushing the successful and unfortunately for Alpha Red that is yet another loss here today. But the good news. No secret. As soon as they see where the life stealer is, they'll try and shift things up to put the pressure on him. Or yeah, probably. Yeah. I mean, life stealer is not gonna. F um, it's a life stealer then in the, that case versus a lone druid, right? If that's the lane. And this Shakiro. His first blood. It's pretty dead. Gives him a taunt. First blood for mid one. Is it louder? I mean, it sounds louder. I don't know. Oh, wow. oh, is it? Don't turn. charge for the bounty rune. He gets it. Dragon. And the Not Death Prophet. Sora steps up pretty far. Fearless taking a lot of damage though every single time from that Infernal Blade. They have to watch out. That Shockwave can catch them off guard. One more Infernal Blade plus a Shockwave. A quick easy kill if he gets hit by it. Uh oh. He's oh. dead. Oh? They still have it though. Okay. I mean, I can't believe he stayed up. He's coming out there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's definitely going to him. <laughs> These two are a bunch of clowns when they're playing. Same thing oh, mid one. Mid one dies. He dies. They got him. My pro and lion kill. Him. Come on, man. Wait, mid one bashed once. Charge. Again, they're trying to block the pounce. They get the slow. Mid one get blocked, oh, and he dead. A second kill for for Alpha Red on this slot. They're making it work in the top lane. They absolutely are. Fearless though, bottom. Fearless playing a little bit more back though, but still has to be careful. Can't get caught off from a stun here. They're looking for the dive here with Fada. They get the Infernal Blade. They've got the stun follow up with the Shockwave. It's enough. Got it. Nice connect onto both of the Shockwaves. So TNT. So falling a little low. They won't charge any further. As Lion is actually going to be the one doing the charging straight onto Yapsil. Yapsil will be fine. Gets the bounty. He's going to get both. himself out. Oh, he's even going to get the regen run too. Falling behind a little bit on CS. Secret doing really well in two lanes, but the top lane is definitely going Alpha Red's favor. Oh, it's coming through mid one. What? There's Impetus it's available. Dead. Dead. That's the third time that Alpha Red have managed to punish the top lane slot. Puppy. Go ahead and switch it up. Fada's going top mid one. We'll have more fun bottom. Get farm. TNT. Hot on the front side. They are trying for this with the charge. But Ace will take one. Ace. Just have to be careful. The impetus for the stun from Yapsor. Holds them back just long enough so Ace will be able to get himself away. Yeah, deal time. Their wave player is actually quite lackluster this game. To be able to push people off the tower and push like this. Puppy comes down bottom to try to slow it down with the ice armor. It's on the tower, but he might get dove here now. My pro. He's found him. He's got him. Another kill for the Enchantress. They get the tower. Pada, stop canceling Doom up top. Fearless walks up a bit too far, gets Doom. They got the kill, the showman's Shop gonna miss. Misses, but... Should tick down still. So. The heal from Enchantress. Oh, I actually know, yeah, okay. he's gonna be safe. They'll keep that man alive. As uh, Pada does try and see if he can get close. Yeah, I'm sure he's behind. There's the Burrow Striper still with the Infused Ranger. Fearless will live. Lose one on out for Red. Weak Chain Frost able to find him. My Pro trying to run himself away, but the right click from the Lone Grid is just enough. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. They'll still end up coming out on top there, Secret. Despite losing the Doom. Radiant structures are fortified. Yeah, Life Steer didn't TP to join join them. He just kept pressuring mid with the catapult. Prioritizing that. Fair breaker charging up top. Still three positioned heroes by Secret. Nice. Absar missing the stun again. Ace gets the Savage Roar though to stop that charge. Yeah, that should be fine. Oh, oh I should say that. He literally... Oh. He just hit level 6. But uh, of course the Burrow Shrug's able to, dispel, to to break the vision. Puppy is going to get ulted instead. But Yapsil's there to back him up. Comes in with the Burrow Strike with the right clicks from Ace. Can they quite get it? They need a root. No they root. won't find it on that first hit. And now Dog Brain's coming in too. He's got open wounds. Oh. He'll settle for the bear. Or will he? Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Is oh, he's gonna have to kill it. Oh no, the nope. charge is cancelled. Right, it. Slaves to the back.
Rest of the other other team, it's not very advantageous, but now they are making a play with this infest. This is really good by Alpha Red if they can find something here. Turn. Savage Roar caps of the charge and strength to burn trap, but there's the life suit. The Doom in the back lines, it actually catches Death Prop before the Exorcism. Uh-oh. Fearless. Do they have enough to heal him up? The Chain Frost. Oh, that'll do it. That's gonna be one down. But actually opts for the TP out, but he's not gonna make it. Ult comes in from line. But gets held back for now. They come in Yapsaw with the stun. But, uh, Rage was out in time from Cogbrain, so he's able to turn towards Yapsaw, but the Lich Armor's out upon him. But still tick down. Two for two. Can Ace find anything more out of this? They're looking towards my bro, the Ice Palm TNT. I'm gonna oh, live. He is gonna get out of there. He will be fine. Man, it, that could have been, if they were able to actually get the save the death proper, let the, get the exorcism off in the fight, they would have had full number advantage. And this was their big first aggressive play that they made instead of responding. They made this infest movement. So they got they got these two kills out of it, and they're on the back foot. So not the worst case scenario, but losing their death profit instantly at the start of the fight, not a problem. And now mid one throughout all that, he is completely caught up. Shadow Blade finished, and this that was secret. Look who's that playing. Playing 4v5, and now mid one. Already finds a free pick off. Mid one. Pop the shadow blade, but of course, spot it out. On that board. Sentry down towards mid, but it looks like even though they have the sentry, their TNT. House doesn't connect, the Shadow Dance trying to use it to close the gap onto this Dragon, but it won't be enough. Dragon will survive, Fearless actually ending up being the one to go down. Nether Strike, want it. does bash back the slot, can they kill him in time? They, they get can, him. they get the slot. Oh, TNT. Oh, TNT. Oh, my God. He's going down there to that Shockwave. His Tranquil Boots, the regen saved him. <laughs> so, again, it's Mip one dying, but they did get two kills. They got two kills. Oh, the highest amount of DPS possible. With an invis rune, it'll be pretty big here. He could find get dog brain here with the doom. Just outside of range, that right out of range, well. the sentry. Yeah, uh, he walks oh, in right now, though. Oh, 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 my pro. There we go. Yep, so coming in. And oh, they Maelstrom pro. And he's dead. Alright, there's Yap. Yeah. with the bait play to make Yapsor look good. Yeah, Yapsor. That was a play there. there. <laughs> they did not know the sentry was there, but it works in their advantage quite heavily now they can transition into a push. Dyer's 8k advantage, Alpha Red. Clear. There's a 9k advantage for Seeker, but they also have 4,000 saved up on the life here, so it's like a 13k advantage kind of for Seeker. But, I mean, either way, the Relic doesn't really give too much. Once he has Radiance, it all matters, but it really feels like Seeker has a way more of actually than more than a 10k gold advantage in this. Because Life Seeker can't take fights. It's pretty much just like Exorcism and Enchantress throwing spells out. Alright, Infinis for their fights. Bottom TNT and Lion. His TNT will go down Lion, trying to be sneaky. He will be. Space created team. Secret if they're they split up at all. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Who it is with the radiance? Spirit Breaker getting Dyer's stalked here by mid one. There you go. Fire. Does die and also Fada finds TNT trying to TP out. Stops with the Infernal Blade, it's just gonna run him down. That's a kill. Dog Brain. Gets spotted. Trying to clear this creep wave. He might just get doomed here by Fada. Fada's got Blink Dagger. Dog Brain. Uh oh. He is doomed. He certainly is. Take the rage off. Yep. But he is a. He's a very sad, very sad life story. Epicenter in honor of Dog Brain. He's. Criticism at all this game. Similar to the last game. Just can't find the opportunities for it. Spirit Breaker. 
Under vision here of secret. Bada. A tap. TNT. Dying three or four hits. Run, Lionax! Spirit Breaker as well. Oh, I got him. I stop the furnace with you. Oh, I mean, the, oh, the game is the game's like, the game's over. <laughs> oh, they're not making they're not really making the moves either, they're just Clear out class. They had a, this this game though they had a first few few decent few moments in like the game right but overall you can just say like, oh radiant the bear did they get the bear I mean my pro is the only one I, my my pro plays and catch people when they're split up because they have no idea where secret is at all so I think they actually do have to make oh a, no my hotkeys I can't get the division F1 should work oh you play the game with Dota yeah how do I do it uh it should be under spectator mode advance. Spectator, bottom right. Where is it? And then you should be able to just go show Fog of War both teams. There we go, boys. Fixed, fixed on the job. There you go. Yeah, they, I mean, I think they actually just like have to make some like YOLO play. One of the supports, you smoke out, you go get a ward down. Like, this is what they're doing. Good. This is they're doing it. So the smoke play, they have to make something happen. Mid one is there, though. They try to find Ace. He gets the Savage Roar up, but they might be able to find him anyway here. Yeah. Ace. There you go, Alpha Red. They got him. He did. That's one down. You'd lose the dragon. And, I mean, can they hit a tower with it? It doesn't look like it. They can. They're actually just going to TP back to base after that exorcism. After one kill. And the Spirit Breaker. He won't be so lucky to go home, though. Yeah, one get a pretty big. The big old schlocky. At least they tried to make a play, but they needed to get more out of that. Sure, they got ace, but they want the exorcism. They want to get, like, one kill into another, into another. And now, top. Fearless showed a bit too far. Try to clear the wave and yeah, so we're pretty prepared for him. Oh! And we have to finish up. Finish up. Oh, Fada Frost is out. Fada does go down. This Magma Fire does a decent amount of damage. Does, yeah. Straight forward, you're on the app. Lost a few. Oh! Yeah. Just a kill. But he'll die for it. So the good. I'm ready to. Some a secret. I'm ready for this fight recap. Got. Life stealer and oh, I thought Macropire actually did more than that. His life stealer is doing a lot. That's the radiance. The radiance. Yeah. yeah. They do some. Da you know they do. They did. It's they got some kills. It's something. They got some kills. Yeah. It doesn't turn into anything though because they are right outside their base and of course they like don't have exorcism. So. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Still very grim. For Alpha Red. There we go. Okay. Uh, this was a bot. Vada. Vada. Ooh, the Savage Roar, but now the charge coming through. Clips Vada. Oh. Vada. Side fit. Oh, and it got it. Dead for 60. He dead. 60 seconds, now I do. Oh. This could be where they look to just end it. The BKB's already finished on mid one, too. He's about to have Basher, so. Couple items and then they could look to send it. Why rage lone druid this game? Because he's playing versus death prophet, so he wants people to stay in back of the fights and versus enchantress. He wants to stay away. And it's more. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Range lone druid for fun. But... He doesn't want to be like, like his bear. He's not radiant, but it's not like it's really good for a stage. Oh, so it's his way out. Silence, fearless. fearless. Taking a lot of damage from Mibon. Mibon popped the BKB. It's getting bashed up. He's got a cheese available though. But the dude comes out. To stop any further impetus is coming out. Yapsu is there with a follow up epicenter. Burrow's drug three dead on the Alpha Red. They'll buy back on the Enchantress. They'll buy back on the Life Stealer. The secrets of the full five man alive. Three dead without buyback now on Alpha Red. That has to be GG, right? They have to call it here. I think this is their last one, so they're trying. Mid one pops the cheese. Rax is done. Yapsor blinks in. He's going for dog brain. He dies. So incredibly fast. And there it is. GG well played. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Secret will take the game against Alpha Red. In what I believe is the final game I hear on this stream.